Hi, Ruby. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you today? Okay, you're fine. Okay, so Ruby, let's move to pet point one, uh, pet one point three reading, okay? So I will share the screen now. Okay, so we have here Ruby about reading. So we are done with listening. So let's move now to 1.3 reading. Okay. So we have like this. I know you already knew how to assess reading. Okay, so first one like this. Please tell me if you are done. Are we done with this or not yet? Yes, we are done. Okay, so let's move to 1.4. I will share you 1.4 now. Okay, so let's Okay, now here, look up this one. Please try to answer the same thing as what you did. You tell me if you are done, okay?
Done, Ruby? Yes. Okay, so number one, this is from Miss Phelps to the class nine. Sorry, there are no theater tickets left. Anyone who's ordered a ticket but not given me the money yet has until tomorrow to do so. So what is your answer? Answer for this. Uh, I think that's a big letter B, teacher. Okay, letter B. Reserve tickets must be paid for by tomorrow. That's your answer. Correct. Very good. Next. Okay. Sorry, there are no theater tickets left. Anyone who ordered a ticket? I... Okay. But not given the money yet has until tomorrow to do so. So you need to reserve tickets. Number two. Dear Nick. Your swimming teacher called about this week's lesson. It will be on Tuesday, not, th not Thursday, as it is usually is. It's still at 6 o'clock, but we'll have to leave earlier by 5.30. Dad, what is your answer? This message is for Nick from his dad. Uh, I use the letter C, did you? Let us see. Next lesson this week is at the same time on the different day. Okay. Okay. Very good. Ruby. Great job. Okay. Next one, please. Okay. Okay. Look up here. Number three and four. Done, teacher. Okay, number three. Highly Cliff School Gallery taking photos of the art displayed. Here is not permitted. Okay, what is the answer? A, B, or C? I choose letter B. Letter B, teacher. Oh, it's letter C. You are not allowed to use your camera here. Okay, it's okay. Number four. After inserting a CD, wait for computer to load it before clicking on start. After inserting the CD. I just did a C. Okay, your letter C. You wait for computer to load it before you click start. What should you do? Okay, letter C, insert the CD, wait, and then click start. Okay, very good, Ruby. Great job again here. Okay, you've got the wrong for number three, but it's okay. Number four or five. What is that? Number five. This is about Lara. I'm done, teacher. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is letter A. Letter A. Okay. 
Okay, correct. Hi, Lara. That video game I borrowed from you was great. I have lent it to Mick. He'll give it back to you on Monday. Hope that's okay. Mick. Okay. Mick will return Lara's computer game to her on Monday. Borrow. It means another meaning for borrow, Ruby, is lend. I will let you borrow. I will let you lend. Next, return. When you say return, give it back. I will return the CD. It means I will give it back. Okay, you understand this word? Okay, you understand yes. this word? Okay, very good. Okay, now, uh, by the way, uh, Ruby, can you make a sentence using the word give? Give back. Give back. What? 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 Wait, wait, what? Yeah. Can you make a sentence using the word give back? I give back my best friend the book. Oh, I give back my best friend's book. Okay, very good. Okay, great job. Next, okay. For part two, question six to ten. Okay, look up here. Okay. The young people below all want to do something special this Saturday. On the opposite page, okay, there are descriptions of eight events. Eight. Teacher. Yes. Yes, Ruby. Yeah, yes, I have uh, something to do now. So can you wait a little bit? Okay, no problem. Wait. Okay, yes, our teacher will wait, okay?
Yeah, teacher. Okay, so we have here the young people below all want to do something special this Saturday, Saturday event. On the opposite page, there are description of the eight events. You decide which event will be the most suitable for the following people. So again, there are young people below who want to do something special in this Saturday event. Okay. Okay, we have here the vocabulary word first. We have the word souvenir. Do you know the word souvenir? Do you know the word souvenir, Ruby? Souvenir. Do you know this word? Yeah. Okay. Yes. When you say the word souvenir, it means this is the one that you will have to give it to. Souvenir, you will have to give it to someone, especially if you attend a wedding day. In the wedding day, there is a souvenir. Okay. Something that someone or the couple will give you. Okay, they will have something like that, something, a figurine, a small stuff as a souvenir. Okay, next, environment. Our environment today is not clean anymore. It's not safe. The water, the air is polluted. So environment, okay? Next, expert. Do you know what is expert and who are these experts? Okay, you know who, what, what do you mean by the word expert? Ruby, you know who is expert and what do you mean by the word expert? Mm, expert, like uh, uh, someone that is good at something and teach everyone that to know that. Yeah. Someone he is good at particular thing, right? Particular job. That's expert. Example: the expert doctor, the expert engineer, the expert teacher, like that. Someone who is good at who is good at that. Okay. Next is efficiency. Efficiency. So it means you are efficient. Okay. Environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly. Next, spacious. Spacious. It means have a big space. It is spacious. Next. Okay. So you understand all of this word, by the way, Ruby? You understand this word? You just understand? What? What? Did you understand this word? You understand? What? What? This one, this one, the vocabulary, the vocabulary. You understand the vocabulary? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, very good. So, did you copy this? Yeah, I got it one that. So, yes, done now. Okay. <laughs> well, very good. Okay, that's enough. It's good. So, again, I will let you make a paragraph, not a sentence anymore. I ask you to make a paragraph for this, okay? Now, look at this one, okay? As what man being mentioned in the, in the instructions, so there are five young people. These young people are Angela, Vic, Beth, Mike, and Molly, okay? First is Angela, okay? Look at Angela. Angela wants to go out with her younger sister in the evening. We both love learning about wildlife and would like to take part in an organized activity. So Angela wants a wildlife activity. Next is we have Vic. Vic would like to go with his friends to listen to several different kinds of music. Oh, Vic wants a music. They also want to be able to buy something to eat. After Beth is after Vic is Beth and her twin sisters, they are interested in art and would like to make something which they can take home as a souvenir of their day. They also want a nice place to eat their packed lunch. 
Mike want to spend the day with a couple of friends. They all enjoy water sports and the open air and are also keen on history. Next is Molly. Okay. Molly and her friend are enjoying a school project and the environment and are keen to discover more about this topic. They want to go somewhere where they can spend the day and also get some lunch. Okay, this is Molly. Okay, so now again, you read it all by yourself. Try to understand and later you will have to answer the question. Okay, I'm done now. You're done. You are able to learn the five teenagers. Okay. Again, we have Angela, who loves wildlife. Vic, who loves music. Beth and her sisters, who are interested in art. Mike, who want to spend the whole day with friends and enjoy water sports. Look at Mike. She wants to have, or he wants to go swimming. You can see he enjoy water sports. Next is we have Molly. Okay. Molly and her friends are enjoying a project, a school project on environment and keen to discover more about this topic. So it means Molly wants to learn about environment. It's Molly. Mike wants to learn about water sports. Beth and her sister is about arts. Vic, music, and Angela, the wildlife. Okay, done, ready, ready now? Ready, Ruby? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. So the one underlined by teachers with blue is, okay, are those what we call the keywords. Okay, so we have here the different places. Okay, please take note that before you answer. There is still four. Yes,
Okay, ready to view the next ruby? You find it hard? The choices are Washbrook Park, Silver Banks Island, Copeland's Hall, and Bramley River Center. So there are any answers? Okay, I have here the next. Wait for a while. This is the other choices. You can pick, that's A, B, C, D, and E to etch the other choices because we have eight choices for the five people, for the five kids. E to letter H, we have Downland Park, the Collins Center, the Oakwood Manor, and the West Sea Castle.
I'm done now. Okay. So can you give now the answer? Sorry. What is the answer for number six? Let's go back number six here. So what is the answer for this? Okay. What's the answer for Angela? First is Angela. What do you think is the answer for Angela? I will I will write the answer. What's the answer for Angela? Okay, Angela loves music. I know, wildlife. What do you think is the answer for Angela? What is your answer? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh my God, there are many choices. <laughs> so many choices, teacher Anne. You find this hard, Ruby? I just let it E. Letter E. Okay. How about number seven? How about number seven? Vic. Vic love to love music. What do you think is the I think Vic is G. Letter G. Let's see. Number eight. How about Beth and her twin sister? Uh, she's maybe is F. Letter F. And number nine, Mike. How about Mike? It's B. Letter B. Ten. Molly is letter D, B. D. Letter D. Okay, so here I will show you the answer. Okay. Letter E, correct. Number seven, letter B. Eight, letter F, correct. Okay, you got two correct answer. Okay, it's okay. I know, Ruby, this is quite hard, right? It's very hard for you. It's okay. Okay, so next lesson, next time, we will continue 11 to 20. You will be marking here. Uh, Correct or wrong, okay? So next, we will be having 11 to 20 lessons. Okay, Ruby? So I will give you a, is it okay for you to, what's that? Um, to make a paragraph, like you will make a short, like a uh, two paragraph on me. Can you do it? Using the words that I give you. Okay, I will give words and you will make paragraph about that. You will just, uh, example, you will say like this. That one. You can see this example. You can see like, example, I give you the story. Okay, example, the that this is uh these are the the words that i give you creator so by a chance in advance so you will make a paragraph using these words example you will say i saw a creator in the old house Actually, it was by a chance, okay? And then it was by a chance, like that. And then you will, uh, by a chance. And then you will have to underline the word, okay? You will have to underline the word, okay? You will underline the word for each year. You can underline the word chance okay so can you do it you will do like this okay go you can do it and then this is the first paragraph again example so i put a period and next paragraph here you will make okay so there is a person i have to book in advance because 
Okay, like that. So you will make a sentence again using the words. Okay, using the given words. Okay. Okay, me uh okay. Okay, Ruby, you will try it. Just try it as long what you can do. Anything you can do, okay? I know you can do it, okay? Just try. If okay, if you find it hard, okay, just anything that you can do, it's okay for teacher as long as you make something for yourself. I will check that on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I will check all your homework. So you have to be in on Tuesday, 10 minutes earlier, okay? Okay? Ruby? Good, Ruby? Did you understand, teacher? I cannot hear anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you hear now? Can you hear, teacher? Yes. Okay, so I will see you on, uh, what's that? on Tuesday, but please get in 10 minutes earlier, okay? I will see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye, Ruby. Okay. Goodbye, Jeff. Yes, thank you for the time. Goodbye. Goodbye.